In most of the everyday experiences, the approach of faces to different situations is quite different to the approaches of non-physicists. In order to provide a background to this statement, I consider a well-known fable written by Ivan Krelov, whose picture is visible on the screen. Ivan Krelov was a Russian journalist and poet lived from 1769 to 1844. He, in 1844, wrote a very popular fable in the form of poetry called Swan, Pike and Crawfish. Since this video is not concerned with his bibliography, I will not discuss him any further. However, we'll try to seek physics in his poem. Before I move to that part, let me show a glimpse of the English translated version of the poem on the screen for the interested one. So this is the English translated version of the most popular fable of Ivan Krylov. The words of this poem, if depicted, would look pictorially the way you see on the screen. The crux of the poem is that three partners, the swan, the pike and the crawfish are trying to drag a cart to the rail. The swan pulls it up, the crawfish pulls it forward and the pike pulls it into the river. Ivan concluded that even though for the cart not too heavy, it stays still due to lack of alignment in the direction of the efforts put by the three partners. And thus, all the efforts of the three partners are wasted. In other words, the message of the poem is, if all the three had put their efforts in the same direction, the cart would have easily moved. The well-known saying, union is strength. This conclusion of Ivan may appeal to fellows being non-physicists, but a student of physics, even at the college level, can easily disprove Ivan's conclusion. Can you? Before I come to the conclusion, think for a while yourself how to disprove Ivan's conclusion. In the meanwhile, let me remind you this. If you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Max, this is the right time. So move your cursor to this tiny little button and click the subscribe button. Now let's go back to the problem and seek the solution through physics. In the words of physics, Ivan conclusion means that the net force acting at the cart is zero. Let's see if this is really the case. Let's represent the pipe force by vector OB, the crawfish by vector OC, and the force exerted by the swan by vector OA. Keep in mind the length of these vectors are drawn to an arbitrary scale and by no way represent the strength of the forces exerted by the corresponding party. The resultant of OC and OB can be obtained by head-to-tail rule, that is, I can add OB to OC or I can add OC to OB and obtain the resultant vector OD whose magnitude and direction depend on the magnitudes of OC and OB along with the angle between the two. It is well obvious from this vector addition that the cart will move in the direction of OD which points toward the river. Now what about the effort of the swan? Is it wasted? If we carefully look at the direction of the force of swan, it is opposite to the gravity or the pull of gravity on the cord and therefore that force reduces the normal force which in fact reduces the friction between the wheel of the cord and the ground and therefore helping the resultant OD to move the cord easily. Thus, the vector algebra ensures that what for a non-physicist seems a waste is in fact something else.